Hello everyone, this is Val here today at our Palm Beach warehouse to show you our new replenishment feature. For those that aren't familiar with replenishment, replenishment is taking stock from an overstock, not pickable bin and moving it to your pickable bins. It's very important to have enough stock in your pickable bins so that you can fulfill your orders and get all your orders out the door in a timely manner. So in order to do replenishment, we need a few things. Most importantly, our mobile apps. You can now see our mobile replenishment report. You're gonna need a scanner. And then some options when you're doing replenishment, which I'm gonna show you a bit more in detail. You can have a transfer location, in which case you would take inventory from overstock, move it to a transfer location. This is all tracked in Shapiro with the replenishment mobile. And then from the transfer location, you can then go put it in a pickable bin. This is very useful if you're going to be doing a lot of replenishments and maybe need a forklift to go take down pallets of stock and you wanna just move the into a transfer location and then put away. You don't need this step though. You can also just take from overstock and put directly in a pickable bin. Either is fine. All right, let's take a look at our new replenishment report, which is on mobile. These are all items that need to be replenished for one of two reasons. Either one, we have orders that need this item, but they're not in a pickable bin. So they'll show on a replenishment report or you also can set something known as a replenishment level. This is very useful for being proactive. If you know you're gonna have a sale of an item and you want them moved into a pickable bin beforehand, you can set a replenishment level, have everything restocked beforehand, and then as those orders come in, you don't need to replenish at that time. The report looks at both of those numbers and do all that math for you. It's, it's all here. <laughs> From the replenishment report, we have some filter options, which you can use to be a bit more strategic about what you're gonna replenish first. Sometimes replenishment reports can be, they could be hundreds of items really, depending on if it's busy season. So you might want to filter in order to focus on maybe a specific customer's items, or maybe focus on items that are needed for priority orders, or certain items with different statuses. That's what these filters are here for. As you can see, you can go to filter and choose one of your customers. If you go to order status, you can sort by, let's say, priority status. So any order that's on priority that needs to ship now, you will replenish those items first. So this allows you to be strategic with what you are replenishing. Once your filters are set, you can choose one or more items to focus on. What's great about this replenishment report is you can have multiple people working on replenishment at the same time. So I'll go in and I'll choose which items I want to replenish. And once I choose those, they're gonna be locked to me. So I'm gonna work on those, but then my coworker can come in, pull up this report and choose different items to replenish, make their own report, and there won't be any overlaps. You're not replenishing the same thing as your coworker and then you're over replenishing and having any trouble with that which is a big benefit here. So we'll choose a few items. What you'll see here is the replenishment report is making a suggestion of a non-pickable bin that has enough in hand to replenish what Shapiro is suggesting. So Shapiro will make a suggestion, but depending on the item, you may have other options to choose from. So let's take an example uh, for this item. It's making a suggestion, but if I click the location, you'll see that this is also in other overstock locations. So I can choose a different location. I also can choose more than one. If, for example, I wanted to deplete one location that maybe only has a few left, I can empty out that one and then choose another location for anything else. For example, this one has only two. So if I wanted to grab the remaining two there and replenish those, and then I need 18 more, I can choose another location and then hit save. And then I will go to each of those locations to pick from. Once we've decided what items we would like to replenish, we're going to hit put away. And now we're going to go through our flow. So it'll show me what item that we want to replenish first, where to go, and now I'm going to go get these items. So come along. <laughs> All right. So we are looking for location AO3OSO2, which we have right here. So what I'm going to do is it's going to ask me to scan in my location to confirm I'm at the right place, which is useful. I tend to get lost, so. 
All right, confirmed. Now I need to replenish 43. So we're gonna get this box down. So the mobile app is gonna ask me to scan in. You also can manually select, but scanning is a good habit just to make sure you have the right item. So I need to get 43 of these for my replenishment. So I'll scan the barcode. It is the correct item, so it added one, and it tells me I need 42 more. Now you will be allowed to replenish more than our suggestion. Remember, Shapiro's suggestion is based on the replenishment level and the orders needed, but say we're telling you 43, this location has 50, you just want to replenish all 50, that's fine. It will show you in the UI that you've gone over, but it won't stop you in case you do want to do that. So I'm gonna keep picking these. All right, so we picked all 43 of our items. Now we have to put these away. So we have a few options. We can move them into a transfer location, in which case the inventory will be deducted from your overstock, move to a transfer location, and then later someone else will scan in the transfer location and use the put away flow to put it in its final pickable bin. Or I can put this directly into a pickable bin from here or I could do both. So I'm going to show you how to move into a transfer location, but then also how to move directly into a pickable location. So we'll start with the transfer location. We're gonna put 33 in our transfer location. So this is my transfer location here. All I will do is I will scan in my location. This is to tell Shapiro where this is going. And then I'm going to input that I put 33 in this bin here. So we moved 33 from our overstock into our transfer location. We still have 10 more to replenish. So we're gonna take these 10 and put them directly into the pickable bin. So the replenishment report will show me suggestions based on where this SKU currently exists. So looking at my report, turns out our pickable bin is very conveniently right over here in CO4. So we're gonna take these 10 and put them straight away here. So this will do the transfer from the 10 to the overstock directly to this pickable bin where they can be picked, shipped, out the door once they're ready. So you can scan them in. You're gonna confirm you pick 10. You also can manually input. You don't have to scan each, but we'll scan in for all 10. All right, once those are all set, just hit confirm and complete replenishment. And we have replenished our SKU to both a transfer location as well as a pickable bin. All right, that's it for our replenishment mobile demo. I'm gonna get to work putting the rest of these away, but I hope you have a great rest of your day. See you soon.